Hey, what's up everybody? POA and battle number four. So four of seven is where we're at right now. Uh, so far, this has been one of the best series in a long time of boxes. So I'm gonna open these up, talk about the rules of what we're doing here. So this is a battle. So we've got a box here, each person. We've got four people here. It's each gonna get three packs out of this box. Everything in those packs belongs to them. We're gonna add up the mana values of all of their rares and mythics and combine mana cost. Whoever has the highest total, whoever has the lowest total, will each get one of those prize packs I just threw on the side over there. That's how the game's played. In the event of a tie, tie goes to the highest single casting cost mythic. If that doesn't do it, it's highest single casting cost rare. All right, here we go. All right, we got Eric, Justin, Gremlin, and Dustin. All right, good luck, everybody. We're going to do this in three rounds. I'll talk about the score again at the end of each round. Oh, hold on one sec. I do adjust something over that I can write on. Here we go. Okay. Eric, you are up first. So let's get past the commons and uncommons. And I'll stop on uncommon if it's a particularly spicy uncommon, but metastatic evangel. Spring Heart and Tuco. Okay, that is a two to start. Spawn Bed Protector. There is a nice commander hit. That is a nine. Disruptor Flute here at an 11. Flare Fortitude, Old Border, 15. Hey, what's this? Solitude. Cool. Borderless Foil Solitude. I think that is a 20. Let me double check that. While I'm sleeping up. Yep, that is a 20. Okay, good first pack, Eric. Had not seen the Solitude yet, that's awesome. Okay, Justin. Solitude's like the most generically good of the, of the group, isn't it? Maybe that sounds harsh, but I think y'all know what I mean. All right, Monsters Vortex. Guide of Souls, good rare to start. That is a one. Barrel Goyf, okay, you're at a five. Yeah, all right, and then we got a Borderless Spring, a spring Heart Nantuko. So you are, well, you were at a four. So you're at a six. Fury, Old Bordered Fury. So now you're at an 11. And then a Windswept Heath in foil in the extended art. That is an 11? Yeah, that is an 11 to start. Low score. Okay. Gremlin, you're up. Come on, open up. There we go. Oh boy. That one was extra glued. Okay. Nesting grounds. Evolution Witness and Foil. Dream Tide Whale for a three. Sunken Palace, still at a three. Ah, the Archway of Innovation, you're still at a three. Lelia, you're at a six now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Old Bordered Foil, Kozilek. Sheesh, and that all of a sudden just jumped you up to a 15. Nice hit. God, those old bordered foils with the colorless borders are, they're really nice. They're really, really nice. Okay, Dustin. Oop, threw, a, threw an extra sleeve over. All right. Oop. Okay, Dustin, Let's see what you got. Skoa, hard evidence. Nadu, recently, at least time of this filming, just absolutely dominated the modern Pro Tour. Uh, been a lot of conversation about this card recently in Discord. That's a three. Sphinx of the Revelation, you're at an eight. Kudo, you're at a ten now, a time in a profile. Kozilek again, that time in the profile. Sweet. Hold on, I'm going to have to recount this now. And Philia, the goodest boy. I'm going to recount that in a second here. 
because the Kozilek threw me off. Is that 21? 21. All right, so first round done. We got Eric at a, oops, Eric at a 20. Justin the low at an 11. Gremlin at a 15. And Dustin in the high at a 21, but a lot of games to be played here. Eric next pack. All right. Shifter, shifter, shifter. Okay. Marionette Apprentice. Either Spike. Cursed Mirror. That's a three. Okay, the March of Bellisville. You're at a six. Pluto Delta. All right, fetch land number two. Still at a six. Monumental Henge. Still at a six. And Pearl Ear in... Uh, that actually looks pretty good in the uh, etched foiling. I think that's a nine. Whew. That is a nine. Eric, you are at a 29. You kind of went just from the high to the potentially low right there. Justin, you're up. Okay. Okay, there's Spike, Munitions Expert. Winter Moon for a two. Kaith, you're at a six. Nadu again, you're at a nine. Party Thrasher, you're at an eleven. And Mythic Phyrexian Tower, Borderless Foil. That is awesome. That is that is a really nice little mythic hit right there. And I think that was an eleven again. <laughs> Justin, you're staying in that low low. You're at a twenty-two. And then with a really nice mythic hit to boot. Okay, Gremlin. So we're at that point in which I'm just gonna comment that so far everybody has gotten at least one really cool pull. So that's that's nice. Null Elemental Blast. Buried alive. Alright, Gremlin, let's do this. A cursed Marauder, Priest of Titania old border foil, Spymaster's Vault, a zero. As last in the uh, profile foil, that's a three. Pearl Air, you're at a six now. Kappa Cannon Air, old bordered, so you just jumped up there to a uh, 12. Mythic, Rail! Oh my god, it is a textured Rail! <laughs> yes! Gremlin, congrats! That is textured Rail. Woo! I pause and I'm like, foil, I'm like, that's not just foiling, because again, it's the rainbow foiling. So the front, you can tell immediately, because it, it's definitely different in the foiling. So you get the rainbow foiling, and it's like, yep, yeah, textured. Rainbow foiling is way nicer than the traditional foiling. I think it's kind of funny, because they, they used to just do rainbow foiling, right? And then they clearly stopped doing rainbow foiling. And it's almost like now they've made rainbow foiling the chase foiling. <laughs> it's... It's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, Gremlin. Giant hit. Giant hit. I think it's a 14. I'm recounting because I'm all kinds of... Yeah, that's a 14. So you're also at a 29. Whew, so far. This box is spicy. Okay, Dustin. Charitable Levy. Sure, we're gonna strike it rich. Lelia, that's a three. Hourglass of Loss, I really like this card. That is a six. Emperor of Bones for an eight. Esper Sentinel, nice. Old Border Ristic Buddy. Uh, you're at a nine, you're at a nine. And a Chip Medallion in foil for a tiny 11 in that pack. Okay, so we're going to go into this last round, and there are three people clearly vying for the high. Now, anything can happen, right? Because we have a set with Tiny Casting Cost and Eldrazi. We have Eric's at a 29, Justin's in the low low at a 22, Gremlin's at a 29, and Dustin's in the high at a 32. Eric, last pack.
<laughs> that's awesome. Textured rail. That's so sweet. Okay. Discharge. Foil sling slinging lieutenant. Birthing ritual. Not a mythic. That is a two. Sage of the Maze. You're at a five. Ripples of Undeath. You're at a seven. Kudo. You're at a nine. Dude, this is not how you win the high. Is <laughs> that how you do that? That's a nine. And... Shilgengar in the foil etched, which I think puts you to a 14. Yep, that is a 14, which in this box is like kind of a big pack. So that puts you at a 43, Eric, a 43. Justin, you are up. All right. Victimize Old Bordered, a Cursed Marauder, Obstruce Appropriation for a 4, Polygoyf, you're at a 7, you're racking them up, you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, well that's small. White of the Reliquary, you're at a 9. Kalia, cool, you're at a 13, and a Guide of Souls for a 14. So you are at a 35, Justin. Guide of Souls is a nice pull. Eh, same thing with Kalia. Gremlin, you are up. Okay, if I can get the pack open. There we go. Just gotta find the seam in these super sealed packs. Okay, oop. Snow Covered Waste Old Bordered, Brain Surge. Flare of Duplication, about time we hit another Flare. That's a three. Blood Braid Challenger for an eight. Emerald Medallion, you're up to a 10. Wheel of Potential for a 13. Oh boy, what do we got now? Power Balance for a 15. Kind of a cool bull, a pull in the uh, Borderless Foil. I don't know if that is, how, what's that gonna, oh, that is, that is, Gremlin, you are at a 44. You just got one more than Eric. But Dustin's at a 32 heading into his last pack. Which, well, crazier things have happened in this world. It's going to say it. I'm like, it looks like Justin has won the low. But who knows? Dustin, let's see what's in your last pack. Munitions Expert. Jolted Awake. Tamio! Freaking awesome. Tamio? That's a one. A the refinery for a seven so far. Strix Serenade, Borderless. That's an eight. Shadow of the Second Sun. That, that'll do it. That'll do it. And complete the high. Um, so you are at a 14. And oh, oh, Bordered Foil Flare of Freaking Denial. <laughs> that, that's a sweet hit. That's the first time we've had that one on the channel anyway. Well, I shouldn't say that's the first time I've pulled one out of a box in any way, shape, or form. Anyway, all right, let me just do the math here, 14, 17. And that puts this at an overall pretty close battle. Oh, I should probably sleep Tamio, shouldn't I? Because that's only a $30 plus foil <clears throat> at time of this filming. Okay, we got Eric, he finished at a 43. Justin, you finished in the low at a 35. Gremlin, 44, and Dustin, you finish in the high at a 49. Justin, let's do yours first. Good luck. Hard evidence. Skoa. Ruby Medallion, always a decent pull. Hideous Taskmaster. Another medallion, Pearl Medallion, Borderless. Recruiter of the Guard. Cool in the old border. And what's this? Hey, Borderless Foil Wooded Foothills. That is... By the way, that, that box, that box is a sweet box. It was kind of low on the fetch counts, which happens. But overall, it had a pretty good mythic selection going on. All right, Dustin. That's, that's really the nice part about these boxes is there's multiple different types of pulls. It's not just, I guess you can say, fetch or bust, right, as the joke was. 
which was never the case, but here or there. Dustin, Nesting Grounds, Charitable Levy. The Necro Bloom. Final Act. Genku. All right, come on, we can do better than that. Voltaic. Oh, sorry, Voltal Storm Drake. What's this? Hey, dress down. Okay. All right, that is a old border foil dress down. All right, that's gonna do it. Um, we got three more of these battles, at least for this run, and then we've got a couple more um, set box. Uh, we got one set box battle and one set box break. Oh, sorry, not set box, play box. Um, and then after that, then we'll get kind of a toward um, our. We're gonna have a, a little bit of Assassin's Creed, not a ton of Assassin's Creed. I, I don't. L I don't love the franchise myself, and it nobody really in my Patreon really nobody really seemed all that overly excited for it anyway. So we're gonna do a little bit on the channel just because it is a new set, and there are a few cool cards in there. So we'll do that. Um, we're not gonna go crazy with it. And then we're going to have a nice variance for a while until, uh, really, what's next? Boomboro? God. I'm just going to say this. It had felt like they had slowed down the release cycle. And when all they really did was just, like, not show us everything. <laughs> and in a way, it kind of feels like they've sped it up a little bit. Uh, anyway, Bloomboro's really, really right around the corner. And then we're going to get into... Uh, we're going to get into Duskmorn really quickly, and Duskmorn is looking... Uh, you know, that was a set... You know, I, I try not to just to gauge it off of a name, right? And a new Bloomborough would be kind of cartoony, but whatever, it can be It can be fun. Um, I can't judge a set, but Duskmorn immediately, people are just like, eh, that one's probably going to suck. And the stuff that they're showing already is ridiculous. Like, it, it's not even necessarily, I guess, okay, overpowered, but almost like just changing normal aspects of the game that we play not not in a bad way but just like rethinking an effect like that one demon that cost a ton of black mana to put out but then you everybody goes down to six cards left in their deck that's crazy that's crazy and somebody is going to do something cool with it all right that's all i got for today thank you for watching everybody like comment subscribe blah 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 bye